welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a quick little get ready with me video. I have a bunch of new products I've been holding on to that I want to test out and I thought it would be fun to film this so you guys could kind of see my first hand reaction to some of this stuff. Now really quick, today is my birthday. I'm filming on my birthday. I'm really excited. I turned 29 today so it's my last year in my 20s and gosh I just I just don't know where the time goes it's crazy so I um, usually don't film without makeup on but I was like whatever you guys will see makeup go on me and see the finished look so that's why I wanted to do my intro like this a few housekeeping things I do have a giveaway going on right now I'm giving away a Tarte clay play palette the palette number one I know they just came out with a part two so if you're interested in the part one I will link the video down below it's my Q&A video all you have to do is in that particular video leave me a comment suggesting like a video idea that you'd like to see in 2018 I'd love to do that for you and of course it's just my way of saying thank you to subscribers and friends that have been watching me for the last few years so thank you so much I hope you guys are having an awesome holiday season I am so blessed that I happen to have the week off so I was able to kind of get my shit together also if you are wondering this is a new backdrop it's definitely a work in progress it's my first time filming so it's gonna look a little bit weird but eventually I'll have this like all decked out for you guys so I asked for the Alex drawers for my birthday and Christmas because my birthday is so close to Christmas I told my husband he could do a twofer um, so I got some nine drawers some five drawers and then the tabletop so I have tons of room to grow my makeup collection you guys it's kind of awesome because most of my drawers on my vanity desk the five drawers are actually empty which is perfect because I need to still work on reorganizing and things like that so it's gonna be a lot of work also there's a really cool elephant behind me I think you guys can see a little piece of it but it was a holiday like a Christmas gift to me and rail and I just thought it would be so cute in the background so hopefully you guys will get to see more of that anyway I did buy some of the new wet and wild palettes everyone was like raving about these I didn't even know that these had come out they weren't in, even on my radar and then I think I saw two youtubers that I watch pretty often talk about these and then I was like well I need them too. I need to try them too because I've been loving on e.l.f. in 2017 and this was just a really nice way to for them to I guess close out their year with some cool new makeup of course and of course I didn't plan ahead to like have these open so now I need to find some kind of maneuver to get this stupid tape open because Wet n Wild has to seal everything. Thing. And these I picked up on the e.l.f. website. I know people have been like looking for them all over the place. They did do free shipping on their website for the holidays one day. And so I was like, oh, let me use this opportunity to buy them. So this one is called Rose in the Air. Rose in the Air. And it is kind of, the shades remind me a lot of the Modern Renaissance palette, if you guys are familiar with that the shades are very very similar to the modern renaissance palette so um, there is what this palette looks like and then this one is the one I heard a lot of people talk about called not a basic peach and it's cute like it doesn't look like anything I've seen in the drugstore before so I'm really excited I seriously feel like there is a lack of good eyeshadows in the drugstore so We'll see what Wet n Wild has to offer. I'm still struggling to get this open. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Okay, so here is what it looks like. So exciting. So I've already primed my lids and powdered it. So I'm going to go in with the matte like a matte transition shade I think I'm gonna go in with one that's marked transition it's like a nice perfect crease color for my skin tone so I'm going in with a Morphe M441 brush and just placing this in the crease that blended really nicely I'm impressed let's just Put a little bit more. 
And then I'm gonna go in with this chocolate brown shade, a little bit darker just on the outer portion. I'm not doing anything too crazy tonight for my birthday, so I don't want the makeup to be too dramatic. Wow, this is nice and pigmented. Holy smokes. So you guys, I am so like, I don't know why, I usually love birthdays, but I'm like so laid back about this one. But my friends have been spoiling me. I'm so like blessed and lucky. Like I got so many makeup gift cards. I'm a little bit beside myself. It's so sweet. And you guys know there's nothing better than makeup <laughs> gift cards when it comes to being a makeup connoisseur. So this is this weird fat brush I usually use when I highlight my brow bone. So I'm just going to use that. Gotta highlight the brow bone. So yeah, I basically just did a very simple look. Now I'm gonna do a lid shade and then be done. You guys know I'm not big on like doing the most when it comes to my eye looks. Sometimes I go all out, but today it's like mm, keeping it simple. I'm just gonna grab this random one and I got the new Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe and chamomile and lavender. It's the purple colored one. I don't know that I really love these. I just think they're so affordable, so I have all of them. But So then I was like, when I saw a new one came out and I had an Ulta coupon, I was like, okay, let me just get it. Okay, the foil or the sparkly color, not very impressed. I'm barely getting any pigmentation from it. It looks so beautiful in the pan, but it is making me work to get on my eyelid. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just going to wet the brush some more. This is so cute. I love this color selection in this palette. And it's so tiny, too. So I'm pretty impressed. The, sh the foil shade wasn't the greatest, but can't complain. And now I'm going to go back in and just blend the darker shade in with the foil shadow. So like I said, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to stop right there for the eye look. And now I'm going to try out this uh, MAC Strobe Cream. I've actually been using this quite a bit. And I really like it. I know Desi Perkins really likes to use this. For like a natural glow and so I don't put too much on plus I believe the foundation I want to try out is like a luminous foundation so I'm just gonna put a little bit but sometimes I just put this on like if I don't want to wear makeup I'll just put this on and like go out of the house and I think it gives me like a very natural beautiful glow and I still love it so very much in love with that product Oops, sorry, that made a lot of noise. Okay, so this I'm really excited for. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This came out quite a while ago, and I have a review of this when it originally came out on my channel saying I didn't like it. So for some reason, I was like, wow, All Day Weightless Luminous, that should be like right up my alley. And I decided I was going to repurchase it and try it out on my face to give it another go. So I'm excited to see. And I bought one of these metal palettes on Amazon. And I honestly really like it. Wow, this is a very watery foundation. So I have my Beauty Blender. This is actually clean even though it looks dirty. And I figured I would just sponge this on. And uh, just to let you guys know for shade, I did Syracuse. That's usually my winter shade. So... I just like to pound with the Beauty Blender. So we'll see. I, I Yeah, I can't remember why I didn't like it. And I did want to rewatch the video because I didn't want to have it like make me bias and feel a certain way. So I don't remember why I don't like this foundation. I just remember, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, I didn't like it. And so I, I'm pretty sure I returned it. And NARS just came out with a new foundation. I ordered it. It launched the day after Christmas. And it should actually be getting delivered to me today. So I will have to 
review that one for you guys as well. NARS, the color just works so well for me, so I'm very partial to NARS foundations. And so, yeah, let's see here. So far, I'm really liking the coverage. It's pretty much covering everything I want to cover. And I can definitely see the luminousness coming out. Okay, so I think it's pretty good, cover, like covered up, and it doesn't feel heavy or cakey or anything like that, so that's good. I didn't realize it was going to be so liquid. Like I said, I haven't worn this since I reviewed it forever ago, and it does come with a pump, which is nice, because NARS Sheer Glow, which is one of my all-time favorite foundations, does not come with a pump. So let's see here on the box if there are any claims to this foundation. It says all day luminous weightless foundation, 16 hour wear oil free. All day luminous weightless foundation reaches an extraordinary level of perfection with ultra lightweight complete coverage and uniquely fluid silky feel. Ideal for all skin types and tones, it sweeps on weightlessly, absorbs quickly and blends easily for all day natural luminosity. Yeah. Directions for you, shake well, apply one pump of product into palm, start by warming the foundation in the hands and working with the fingers, apply a small amount to the center of the face and begin pressing onto the skin. So it does say to use your hands, but I don't use my hands to put on foundation. So, so far, just looking at it, I do think it's very weightless and it did blend in really flawlessly to my skin. So I'm really excited. We'll give it another try. Maybe it'll be a product I change my mind about. Now, another product I've been dying to try this I've had for a while. It's been sitting in my pile of things to try. This is the new Urban Decay Concealer, and I got the shade Medium Light Neutral. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this one. People are saying it's very cakey, and like some people really like it. Some people think it's better than the Shape Tape. Some people think it's not better than the Shape Tape. So, of course, being a skincare and makeup junkie, I have to try it out for myself. So it does definitely feel kind of thick, and... Um, the funny thing is I hated the foundation for this product. It was, it oxidized so much on my face and it was just terrible. So again, that was a foundation that I returned. So I'm excited to see if the concealer is going to be any good. Urban Decay is one of those brands I'm naturally like attracted to. But recently I haven't really been that impressed by their products. So... I'm hoping that we'll at least get one winner this year from them. So that blended in pretty well. I don't feel like it's very thick, but I swear, I think like when it comes to YouTube and Instagram, we're like perpetually putting on like way too much product. And I think like then regular folks think that they need that much concealer too. I think it's always best to just go on with a light hand because like even with Tarte Shape Tape, a lot of people complain that it um, creases on them, and I swear I was watching somebody on YouTube and they're like, people put on way too much concealer, like you just need like two drops of Tarte Shape Tape and that's it. So I try to go with the less is more approach when it comes to concealer. This is the Cover FX, what is this called? Perfect Pressed Powder in the shade Medium. I wanted a pressed powder to set with and so... I decided to pick up the Cover FX one. Now there is some glitter fallout coming from the Wet n Wild eyeshadow, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But keep in mind that palette is five dollars, so you know, pick your poison, I suppose. I don't really mind a little bit of glitter falling on my face; <laughs> does not bother me any. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so next. I want to do my brows, I think. And brows, I usually do the same thing every time. This is my go-to brow combination. It's the ABH Brow Powder in Chocolate, the ABH Brow Brush in the number 12, and then the Clear Brow Gel. So I'm just combing through my brows. You guys, my makeup routine is so easy. I kind of feel like I'm a pretty lame beauty guru sometimes because I don't do all these fancy makeup looks but you gotta start somewhere right and I think if you're looking to just get better at makeup if you just follow some of these simple steps that I do you'll get really good at it 
and especially like sh anyone from Sri Lanka watching I know there's a lot of people like I feel like with Sri Lanka it's like always a trend like if somebody starts blogging then everyone wants to be a blogger like I felt like that's what happened with like fashion designing it's like fashion designing was so like trendy for a while for people my age and then everyone went to fashion design school then um, everyone was like baking like bakeries and like doing like at home baking now like the big thing is like beauty blogging and I follow a few you guys know my favorite um, Sri Lankan beauty youtubers and bloggers and makeup artists are probably Nisha and uh, Netmi those are the two I've gotten to know really well over the years especially Netmi I've known for quite a while and we actually met through Instagram um, those two are the people I would honestly recommend if you want to get makeup tips from a lot of the other youtubers and Instagrammers Sri Lankans oh my gosh they do like the most like it first of all all the products are like from the US so I don't know how like regular people would like afford that in Sri Lanka especially if you don't travel and then it's like foundations like a different color it's just crazy to be watching Sri Lankan Instagram as I'm like you have so much makeup on your face is a different color than your body it's crazy so that's my little two cents now I've been trying this Pat McGrath like liquid liner out I picked it up during Black Friday it was a half off I believe so usually this retails for 30 bucks and it was on sale for 15 which is the only reason I bought it and of course she was doing free shipping but this is like the one thing I got from Pat McGrath that I'm not impressed with because it's not very like opaque. Okay, so eyeliner is respectable, so I'm just gonna stop there. I do have a new cold pencil to try. This is the It Cosmetics No Tug waterproof anti-aging gel eyeliner live loves her makeup raves about this she has the hardest time getting it off but I was so curious because she said it was really good so I wanted to get my hands on it and I had a 20% off coupon so I was like why not let's see here do you roll this up oh that's cool so you don't sharpen it made that mistake before so I'm just gonna put this in my waterline Okay, so I did the liner, the It Cosmetics liner, and then I just did some eyeshadow on the lower lash line. So I did that blue shade that was in this little palette, and it wasn't very pigmented, but that's okay. I mean, it's like a $5 eyeshadow palette. So for the most part, I'm done with my eyes. I think I am going to do falsies, but first, there is a mascara I want to try out, and then... Really, before I do any of that, I want to use my go-to face palette right now. This is from the NARS Holiday Collection. This is called the Veil Palette or whatever, I mean, palette, trio, whatever you want to call it. But basically in here is the, the Laguna Bronzer in the Sun Wash Diffuse Bronzer Formula. This is Lovesick Blush and then Surreal Highlighter. This particular combo has just been killing it for me. I've been using my Tom Ford Bronzer Brush and usually I feel like Laguna is a little too light for me but I feel like with it being the winter time I can still get away with wearing this particular color so I like to just buff it on you know right here whatever this part of my face is called and just on the parameters of my face and uh, I talk about this Tom Ford bronzer brush I think it's pretty cool I do like the size and it's very fluffy so it's really nice for bronzer and then for my blush I like to use this Sonia Kashuk brush from like a blush set that I got forever ago so I wore this blush on Instagram and I posted a picture and my friends went nuts for that look so that kind of made me feel good about myself and everyone's really loving this like hot coral blush look on me so I'm just gonna go with it I think I put a little extra on but that's okay I just love it because I think it gives me that like I've been outside look so it makes me really happy and then for the highlight what I like to do is run my brush in there and then spray the brush just to make it like a little more intense and help it blend as well 
These products are, I believe, baked chalet formula. So I like to intensify them a little bit by wetting down my brush. This particular spray does smell really good. So if you like the scent of lavender, you're definitely gonna love this. So just gonna put some on the nose here and I believe I demoed this in my swatch video of this particular palette, but you can really see it now because I don't have any other face products on. So just blending some onto my forehead. So it gives a beautiful glow. I love this combo. I feel like I'm going to hit pan on this bronzer soon. So if you have a chance to snag this up, I would 100% recommend. It's actually a really underrated face palette. I've really been loving those multifunctional products. So this is one of them and it's really, really good. I want to try actually putting some on my inner corner just to pop a little bit. I don't have anything in the inner corner. So let me just grab this highlight and just pop some of it on right in that inner corner as well. Okay, so love that. Now I'm just gonna spray my whole face with the Mario Badescu new setting spray. So let's do that. Oh my God, I just tasted some of that. It's pretty sweet. Love, love, love. Okay, so now I'm gonna curl my lashes with my trusty Sephora Lash Curler. And just give it a few pumps. So I picked up this Essence Mascara. You guys know Tati raves about this stuff and also Andrea Matiliano, I believe. She's like a Canadian YouTuber. So this was like under $3 and I'm excited to see what all the hype is about. So it has a really skinny wand, which I think is going to be really nice for the lower lash line. Okay, so this look is pretty much complete. The last thing I want to do is throw on a liquid lipstick, and I chose Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. I just thought a nude would be nice and simple, and I honestly say what you will about Jeffree Star, but he makes some bomb liquid lipsticks, and I'm not going to go ahead and throw all of these away. So yeah, I have quite a few of his liquid lipsticks and uh, this is Celebrity Skin in case anyone is curious about what is on my lips. So that is everything as far as getting ready with me. I really enjoyed all of these products. Yeah, I really like the foundation. That's really like the biggest like first impression for today and I feel like it's lasted pretty well so far. I've had it on for about an hour, so we'll see how it goes. If I see any major disasters, I will definitely keep you guys updated in future videos, and I will definitely have a swatch party of those Wet n Wild palettes that I picked up so you guys can see the entire palette swatched and of course look forward to a review of those palettes as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. I have lipstick on my teeth. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, or brilliant insights. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. I will link that video down below as well. Thank you guys so much for a wonderful 2017. This is me signing off on my birthday, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye!